Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you had a good holiday so far. It's uh, Boxing Day here in Nova Scotia, and we've just finished loading two quarts of kiln dried 16 inch into uh, the bin going out for delivery. So, with that, we got to get that leveled out and get the net thrown over so we can transport across the roads safely. And uh, two cords of hardwood here, all wrapped up, kiln dried, ready for someone to pick up. And there's a cord and a half here available. And that there is 14 inch, which is on order to go in the kiln to come the end of January. Just mixed hardwoods, mostly maple, beech, ash. My helper, my boss. <laughs> so we've loaded the kiln again, and numbers are high because the wood is covered in snow and ice. I'm going to go in the kiln to show you. I don't know if we're going to be able to hear me or not, but we'll find out. Got the lights. Right. Yeah, so I just paid. Well, that wood was blocked and split. Uh, I'm gonna say mid November. So it's still kind of. The logs are a year old, so it's along the way, but uh, I would consider them still green <laughs> and wet. And uh, the probes indicate that. So the average is 46.5% moisture content. And right now the, the relative humidity is showing at about 79%. That's going to go up over the next 24 hours because as the heat starts to climb, it's probably going to take two days for the Nile kiln to get it up to about 124, which is where I like to have it. And when that happens, then I shut off the heat and then just the compressor and the three fans, the heat coming off of those motors is enough to keep it at about 110 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty good, but the, the kiln is well insulated too, so it does have its cracks, but it, it does pretty good at holding the temperature. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I think it's gonna, probably gonna take eight, maybe nine days, be my guess to get that uh, to dry down to about 20% moisture content. We'll find out eventually. Have a good one.